Ooh, you look rough. I'm gonna try to keep it on this sofa all night. Why? What's wrong with your bed? Too far to walk. Listen, I shouldn't have had a go at you yesterday. I'm sorry, I was just knackered. It's no big deal. You're under a lot of stress. One of them things, isn't it? What's that supposed to mean? I'm just trying to be civil. Yeah, well, it doesn't suit you. One minute you're apologising, the next minute you're having a go at me. Makes a change, innit? Listen, I'm not stressed, all right? And please, don't you start. Whoa! Morning. <sighs> Your turn, though. Who are you trying to kid? What? You're not stressed. Oh, just leave me alone. <laughs> Is that what you'd be saying to Andy? Just don't even go there. Yeah, I could say the same thing to you, couldn't I? I'm sorry. All right, neither of us are exactly happy about this situation, but if it's the best way to conceive... Yeah, yeah I, know, I know. Just don't expect me to pretend like nothing's happening. It's not nice being on your own, is it? I'll manage. Take it this isn't a social call. Them days are long gone. So get on with it, then. You can't let your dad turn himself in. You what, finally found some bottle, has he? You're the only one who can stop this happening. Because he's obviously not listening to you, is he? Hang on. You've known about this all along, or has he just told you? He told me last night. You won't see Jay go down for something he did. <laughs> no. But he'll call me a liar in front of the coppers. You talk about him having no backbone. What about you? You talk about being a man, caring for your family. What do you think he's doing? I've already made up one story to get him off. Why should I do it again? Because... This family is finished if you don't. Belle's life. Samson's, what's going to happen to them? You wouldn't even be taking his place. Yeah. Too right, I won't. Say so you're not sure about Jay. I, I, I don't know. You were confused at being dark. You, you'd had a drink, anything. You, you, you've no idea. Who it were? Oh, I know who it was. My father. Yeah, and he was wrong! He went too far! And you've already talked about all of that. What do you get out of him being sent down? Therapy. In his pig-headed way, he thinks he's keeping the family together, but it, he's not. This'll kill it. You're the only one who can stop this happening. Well, he should have thought about that before he set about me with a metal bar, shouldn't he? Look, you, you will get better. What about Amy? What's she got to live with for the rest of her life? Moira Barton, all of them. Be a man for once in your life. All Zach has to do is sit tight and keep his mouth shut. No, damn well, he hasn't got it in him. His decision. Kane. I'm asking you. Simple alone would have been good enough. Well, why did you bother knocking when you could have got your little sidekick to chuck a brick through the window? Oh, that's finished. Oh, have you told him that? Look, I'm telling you. You're only saying that because you can barely move now. Can I come in and sit down? Please. As long as you don't think you're stopping. 
It's not a social call. Kane, I don't know if you're expecting me just to stand here and watch you think or whatever it is you're supposed to be doing. Well, I was going to do a little dance, but, you know... No, please. You're never a dancer, thank you. True. Never much of anything, was I? Do you know what? If you're expecting me to feel sorry for you as well... You? Look, my leg might be knackered, but my head's not gone, you know? Why are you here? Um... <clears throat> I've been having a little bit of a think. Oh, God help Only us. I wanted to run it by you first. Why? Because you really care what I think, do you? Maybe things have changed. Yeah. And maybe I saw a pig just fly past the window. Please, just get on with it, Kane. To be honest, I didn't think we had that much left to say to one another. You're still Debbie's mother. Yeah. I had worked that one out, thank you. You've got a little stunt planned, haven't you? Not all that's finished. Yeah, right. Will you just shut your face and listen to me for the first time in your life? I want you to know... ...all that side of things. You and Jay... ...being a family for Debbie and Sarah. I'm fine with it. Well, he's as good as locked up. I don't care. No, no, you're not or listening not. to me. It's over. Us. Finished. And how is this supposed to help Jay? I'll deal with that. You're just going to have to trust me, aren't you? How scary is that? Next, you'll be telling me I've won the lottery. <sighs> Don't argue with me. My head's banging as it is. I'll just struggle to get out on my own, shall I? Couldn't wait to kick me out a couple of minutes ago. I've been trying to get rid of you half my life, haven't I? Or do you want it writing down? Yeah, I think I do. Tell Jay... I've finished winding him up. Oh, right. That's what we're calling it. We'll still see... each other around, though, yeah? Well, I am Debbie's mother. And Sarah's granny. Getting on, kid, yeah? Free at last. You or me? <laughs> <laughs>